Greetings. And hello. Podcast number 12, Attenuators. Tone that's loud versus tone that is loud. (laughs) We have some GTN news. We'll play with a couple of attenuators. And we'll shoot them out. We're going to have the return of the rubber chicken. And as usual, we'll listen through the many files and give our postmortem. And as always, we'll have some GTN listener feedback. Let's do it. Yeah, on with the show. In this podcast, we'll take a look at one approach to managing your volume, attenuators. The shootout will be a bit of a challenge. We thought we could simply do a sample with no attenuator and then introduce the different models with a few different settings. But as in life, nothing is ever that simple. Each model's settings are unique and may include features other models may not have. And so we'll keep it simple. We'll take a great amp, amazing guitar, tried and true cable, dial in a great sound and do a recording with no attenuator, then do a series of recordings with three different attenuators, outlining the features of each briefly ahead of time, picking three settings from each that we think will be similar and take samples from each. And so the settings we're going to go with will be an unattenuated, but passing through the attenuator signal a mildly attenuated signal, and a very attenuated signal. Because each unit has different options, we'll focus on the basic attenuation in this podcast. What we're going to listen to here is going to be the pretty straight-ahead stuff, but there's going to be additional stuff in the show notes for you to compare with some of those more uh, manipulatable, tweakable, fancy-pants settings. To mic the cabinet, we'll use the good old SM57 off-center, off-axis. We'll use identical monster speaker cables connecting the amp to the attenuator and from the attenuator to the speaker cab. Of course, the amp and the cab will not change. To keep the neighbors and wives happy, we'll have the cab under a pile of poor man's sound-stopping materials to include heavy blankets, pillows, and a futon mattress. Yeah. (laughs) In the show notes, we'll provide samples in their raw form with all the volume differences. And in addition, we'll provide a second set of samples for each that is normalized. In other words, we'll let you listen to the samples back to back that are leveled off so that you can hear the tonal differences between settings without the volume actually changing in the recording. Very cool. Trey cool, as they say in France. <laughs> Who is Trey, anyway? He's everywhere in France. I don't know. I think he's in this band from Vermont. Oh, oh, that explains it. Right on. It's time for the shootout. I'm ready. (laughs) And so we opted for a classic rock Marshall Les Paul kind of sound. Fairly flat EQ. Bit of a mid-bump. There'll be pictures in the show notes with the actual EQ, microphone position, and everything else. But we're hoping that by giving you a Marshall and a Les Paul that you'll have a good reference because it's such a well-known kind of tone. The riff we did is very simple. It's really just intended to provide a good bass. As always, we're not showcasing our playing. It should have some high frequency, some low frequency, some staccato, and some sustain all in there. And uh, hopefully it gives you a good sense of how these attenuators interact with a Marshall, with humbuckers, and you can form an opinion around that. So it looks like it's that time again, Rich. Yeah, we're wrapping it up. We got another podcast on our hands, some crazy attenuators we want to say thanks to our buddy ron Uh, he hooked us up let us borrow a couple of attenuators uh, made this really possible for us to do without uh, draining our pocketbooks and not knowing what's going on so thank you so so much ron we really appreciate that yeah thank you ron and i have to say thank you for allowing us to have yet another rubber chicken in our podcast yep that's Uh, good fun (laughs) fun to bring that back sure is you can email feedback to gtn at guitartonenetwork.com or tweet us at 
GTN Podcast. Please go join the GTN Facebook group or Google Plus pages. You've been listening to the Guitar Tone Network with Rich Adams and Rich Goyette. Show notes and past episodes can be found online at podcast.guitartonenetwork.com. That is all one word, Guitar Tone Network. (laughs) Thanks for listening, folks. Thanks, guys. Keep listening. Keep looking for that tone. Have a great time playing. This podcast is licensed under Creative Commons 3.0. For more podcasts and guitar tone related resources, please go to guitartonenetwork.com. Network.com.